Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, what's my brethren out there in Ireland? Shout out to Ireland, Dublin, Belfast, all that whole area. Big, much love out there to my Irish folks. But um, yeah, man, wanted to talk about uh, Ireland's own Katie Taylor. She recently scored a uh, a, a, a tough, uh, not a tough decision. I want to say too tough, but. It, she just scored a, 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 a unanimous decision, a decision victory over uh, Jessica McCaskill out of Chicago. Um, you know, it was a good fight where McCaskill was very game, but Katie Taylor's skills and, and just overall her being the better fighter ultimately was what won her rounds as the fight wore on. And, you know, it was a, it was a good fight for her. It was the first time she defended her uh, her title, the, her WBA lightweight title. And uh, good, good for her. You know, she headlined her first show at your call. So I think Eddie Hearn is doing a great job at moving – um katie taylor you know making her a, a known fighter in the in the uk um and i think you know it's funny i think if not to get out topic but i think women's box i think some women's boxers should consider signing with him um just because i feel like he he'd, he 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 would give the women's fighter the best chance to succeed and, and grow a brand and make a name for themselves uh, but that's just my opinion um I wanted to talk about Katie Taylor because I was I, after she won, you know, I was just curious. I was looking around like her weight class and um, looking around, looking at the rankings, uh, just to see like you know who could she fight, you know what's a what's a big fight for Katie Taylor, you know who could who could challenge her, and then I started looking through the rankings and you know I, I really couldn't find anybody. I couldn't find anybody like there was one girl I found that. Uh, was I think she's she was rated number one by Box Rec, but she's only fighting people in Belgium and she's from Belgium. So on the world level, like I don't really see anybody challenging Katie Taylor. Like it's crazy, and it's like her career just started. Like, but the crazy thing is like that, and and, and that's what I wanted to talk about in this video is is one of the problems with women's boxing. One of the problems with women's boxing is the fact that unless you're in a certain division, i.e., example. You know the the middleweight division because they got talent in the middleweight division. You know they got like good fighters like Clarissa Shields, Christina Hammer, Tori Nelson, Alicia Napoleon, um, uh, Michaela Mayer, um, and a whole host of fighters. The middleweight division is probably the most stacked division in women's boxing, hands down. That's not even a question. Um, but for Katie Taylor's weight class, which is lightweight, like I'm looking at like like I was looking at just the top people around her weight, and it's like. They had this one like 40, 39 year old woman from Argentina, but she looked like she was 50. She had a good record. Then there was another girl from Belgium that I told you about. Um, there was a, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Uh, and, then, and then she's already beaten a couple of people around her weight anyway. So it's like, my issue with Katie Taylor is like, she's a good fighter. She's clearly um, going to be big in the UK. Eddie Heron's moving her perfectly. Um, but my thing is like, for the, for the health of women's boxing, because they're trying to strive. I know people, you know, I, I know people have their thing with women's boxing. Like they, they think it's whatever. They suck. And for the most part, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, like there's only a handful of women's fighters that I care about, like, like that I think are, 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 are good, that I'd watch. Um, so I'm not going to say, I'm not going to sit here and say all, all women's boxing is great because it's not. I mean, it's not. Uh, the, the, the talent pool isn't as big as men's but the top fighters in women's boxing i'm talking about the, the, the top top fighters like i'm talking about the katie taylor's the amanda serrano's the clarissa shields the sinicia estradas those cecilia Briggs, those fighters in women's boxing are some of the best pound for pound talents in boxing hands down no, no doubts about it if you watch them fight their skills i mean obviously they're not gonna have the same power as a man but their skills is are just as good you know if not better i mean uh, what's your name? Clutch Shields and Sinisa Estrada have better boxing skills than Deontay Wilder. So, um, with that being said, my thing is like, who who could offer this girl a challenge? Like, um, where does it come from? Like, I don't know, man. It just I I have genuine concerns for Katie Taylor and her career because I look at the rankings. And I'm gonna go look right now while I'm talking to you guys. Like, I look at the rankings and I just look at some of these women and I don't really know much of them. I never seen many of them fight, so maybe it's just me being ignorant. And I had to go do more homework, but like, first of all, she's a two-time gold medalist. She's a ridiculously skilled, like ridiculously skilled. Um, the last girl she fought, McCaskill, was the first person I've seen out of all her fights that has offered any sort of resistance towards her. And she was a, a five and one, five and one girl. 
I mean, I don't know, man. I think, I think, the, I guess the good thing would be for Katie Taylor is that she's 31. Um, you know, she has a reputation for, for gassing out later in rounds, but there really hasn't been anybody to test her stamina. So maybe I guess she won't have a true test until she has a fighter who can test her stamina. But like, I'm looking at the rankings right now. You know I mean, she just beat on box rec. She just beat Jessica McCaskill, who was rated five on box rec. And I'm using the rankings because there really isn't many women's rankings in boxing. So I just use box rec. So she beat Jessica McCaskill. Who was rated number five by Box Rec? Uh, the Belgium girl who was uh, Delphine Pursuing. She's like thirty nine and one. I think she should try to fight that girl. I don't know how good she is because she's only fighting domestic domestic opposition. She's only had one fight ever outside of Belgium. Uh, then you have like Chantel Cameron, who I've been hearing a lot about. I've I've, I've, heard, I've heard of her, but I don't really know much about her. She's let's see, what, what, what's what's this Chantel Cameron girl about? She's what she's got four KOs. So I mean. She, all the people she KO have losing records, but actually no. Nah, she 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 actually KO'd. Uh, they actually have a common opponent, Chantel Cameron and Katie Taylor, which is interesting. That they both they both fought Vivian Obanoff, who is probably the most beautiful woman in the division, but um, <laughs> she's not she's not the best fighter in the division. But like yeah, they, they both fought Vivian, Vivian Obanoff, and uh, so maybe maybe Chantel Cameron is Katie Taylor is a fight they should look at. You know, Chantel Cameron. Um, I believe she was an Olympian, if I'm not mistaken, because that's where I think I heard her name. I never heard, heard about her. Let me see. Let me see. Chantel Cameron. What What is a Chantel Cameron check about? Chantel Cameron, 5 0, 4 KOs from Northampton, Shire, whatever, UK. Um, let's see. Yeah, she, uh, she had a good, good little amateur career, won a couple of. Uh, ABA and AIBA championships um, actually lost to Katie Taylor to the amateurs. So that actually looks like a sensible fight. Like that's a sensible fight. Like I don't even know much about Chantel Cameron, but if she's five and zero, oh, if they have a common opponent together, she's from the UK. Um, you know, they're the same weight class. They fought each other in the amateurs. Um, makes all the sense in the world for, 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 for um, Katie Taylor to fight Chantel Cameron. So I'm going to go do some more homework on Chantel Cameron. Don't know much about her, so I'm sorry about that. I'm still learning about women's boxing. Um, I'm going to try next year. A goal of mine is like to interview more of the women's fighters because a lot of them have followed me on Instagram. Like uh, Raquel Miller followed me on Instagram. Sanisa Estrada followed me on Instagram. Kenia Enriquez followed me on Instagram. And a couple more followed me on Instagram. Um, oh, yeah, Alicia Napoleon followed me on Instagram. And then uh, Jenna Gagliotti, who hasn't turned pro yet, but she's also on Instagram. And she spars with alicia napoleon these guys might these names not, might not sound familiar to you guys but most of the girls i just named are pros some are some are world champions so or some will be world champions so um just trying to help boxing as a whole grow because i cover boxing not just you know certain part of it. i want to cover the whole sport in general and i think you know there's some good talents we have in women's boxing and just trying to get the names out there so yeah man i guess i, I guess i guess i just i answer my own question i i came into this video a, a, asking a question you know who should Katie Taylor fight next? Chantel Cameron should be her next fight. They fought each other in the amateurs. Um, Chantel Cameron has four KOs in five fights, which is really, really good. And um, they have a common opponent, so uh, why not? They're, they're relatively at the same stages of the career. You know, I think Katie Taylor has slightly more pro experience, but uh, make the fight happen. It makes sense. So uh, hopefully Katie Taylor can find more challenges in, 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 in her uh, in boxing because – I just genuinely want to see her do well. I want to see all the women's fighters. I want to see Carlos Shields and Christina Hammer do well. I want to see Sinisa Estrada and Marlena Sparza and, and 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 Amanda Serrano if she ever decides to come back to women's boxing. You know, just all have a successful career and and, and help the sport, not just women's boxing. Because I don't I don't want to just I don't want to just say women's boxing. The sport as a whole. When women's boxing grows, boxing will grow as a whole. It's much like the UFC. When Kate, when when Holly Holm and and Ronda Rousey and Misha Tate and all these girls got famous, the UFC got famous. So if women's boxing wins, boxing wins, and that's all. That's all I want at the end of the day. I want the sport to continue grow, growing. I want the sport to, to 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 stay alive, and just that's what it is, man. So let me know what you guys think, Katie Taylor, um, Chantel Cameron. What do you guys think about that fight? For anybody who knows Chantel Cameron, please fill me in about her a little more because I really don't know much about her. And uh, is there anybody outside of Chantel Cameron and the Belgium girl who's rated number one on box rec that can give this woman a challenge and a run for her money because she just seems to be so much better than everybody? And then that's not even close. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. And you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm Jessica from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.